this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here live at the Purcell Pavilion in the Joy Center on the University of Notre Dame campus. I'm here to watch the Fighting Irish take on Delaware State. From the opening tip-off, Notre Dame controlled the game. Scott Martin, number 14, showed why he was elected co-captain as he led the Fighting Irish with 23 points. Number 24, Pat Knotten, is the only freshman on the team, and he got his first start tonight after he hit six three-pointers against Sam Houston State. He scored nine tonight against Delaware State. Sophomore Alex Dragovich, number 12, scored a career-high 18 points tonight. Well, Number 45, Jack Cooley, led the team with 17 rebounds and got his first career double-double. The Leprechaun Legion did its part to support the 3-0 Fighting Irish. Jaron Grant, number 22, was on fire again and had his fourth straight double-figure game with 17 points. He was 3-for-3 three three from the three-point line. Number 33, Mike Broghammer, stepped up off the bench tonight to go 4-for-5 for, five for nine points. The crowd was rocking and the Irish put on quite a show. The Fighting Irish's 93-69 victory has them 4-0 for the season. Go Irish! Yes, sir, partner. <laughs> <laughs> this season you guys have had a lot of young players starting. How do you think they've developed over the course of the season? I'm really excited about our young guys. They're, uh, all of them are stepping forward, and they've all got a chance to start and play a lot of minutes because of our illnesses and Abro suspension. So I think they're better and more mature. How do you feel that your older and more experienced players have helped them to develop? Those guys have been great leaders, especially Martin and Abro. You know, Abro didn't play this week, but he did a good job of leading and helping <clears throat> his young guys get confident. Okay, thank you. You got it. From the Parcel Pavilion at the University of Notre Dame, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey kids, let's talk sports.